Hey you guys, I want to share with you my little Sprouts haul that I got delivered today to our house via Instacart. Uh, $35 worth of goodies, two little bags, oh, not a ton of stuff. But I, I want to um, talk to you about two things. Um, Instacart, I'll post a link in the description box below, instacart.com is a service that they'll do your shopping for you and you pay a little fee they have all these different programs but one cool thing about Instacart like depending on where you live they could have a ton of stores like we have I think nine stores now and you know what's very cool say you want an item you enter the item in there and it'll tell you the price like, for instance, in our area, the, the Siggy Yogurts, um, they'll show me the price at each store, and so I'm able to pick out the cheapest price for, uh, from wherever it is, because Instacart lets you do that. Same with this, kit, my um, kombucha drink I'll talk about. Um, so some areas are so small they don't have instacart.com yet, um, but I would encourage you, and again, I'm going to post the link below, I would encourage you to check it out if you've gotten to the point where you realize how valuable your time is and you don't want wear and tear in your car. It really is worth, for me, maybe not for everybody, but to give give somebody my shopping list and let them have at it and they're they're really good I very rarely have issues um, so anyways that's an awesome feature to have from Instacart so usually when I do shopping I end up giving them a list for two different places because um, I divvy up the items to buy at the cheaper store Usually it's Smart and Final and Kroger, Ralph's. Um, today it was Sprouts and Kroger. Um, but I like that they let you see the prices. Okay, so you all, you guys always see me with these Siggy yogurts. There was a while from Vaughn's where I was getting every single yogurt. Every week I was getting a new one. Um looking at ingredients, thinking about the taste, and I was just disappointed. But this Siggy, I would encourage you to check it out yourself. And when you do buy it, be sure you check their label. I've mentioned this before. Um, this is a dollar sixty nine at Smart and Final. It was a dollar seventy nine at Ralph's Kroger. Um they give you so much information about their company, about their, their yogurt, all this stuff, and I really appreciate it. And they do have one flavor, the plain flavor, that has absolutely no sugar at all. And this is one of the yogurts that has the least amount of sugar. Um, so anymore, I, it seems like the only yogurt I'll buy is Siggy's, so I wanted to just take the time to tell you guys about this. You do pay a little more for it, but I think you're getting better um, product, and that they're, they're so good to tell us so much about what's in our yogurt. But anyways, um, again, if you get the plain, you get absolutely no sugar at all. Okay, so I got two of those, and um, the kombucha, and I've got um, an elderberry. This is new for me, this flavor. First time I'm going to try it. Um, these were three bucks. They were three thirty at Ralph's. Three bucks at Sprouts. So I went to Sprouts. Lemon cayenne, elderberry. Uh, Meyer lemon and another two Meyer lemons. Um, but you guys, you see me get the same things, and I want to explain to you why am I 
so big on kombucha. Number one, it, it's very, like, it's got such a hard punch, like a carbonation, like, this kombucha got me off my diet coke addiction because of the carbonation. But what you're getting, you're getting a fermented drink, and fermented foods are good for our intestines and our gut, our digestive system. But you're getting live probiotics, and we need probiotics to go back into our gut. Um, when we take antibiotics, they kill a lot of the good bacteria. They get rid of the disease, yes, but they also kill good bacteria. So we need to replenish our uh, digestive system with good bacteria probi probiotics. So these are live probiotics. These stay refrigerated. Um, it's organic, low-calorie, gluten-free, non-dairy, vegan, and like 50 calories a bottle. Um, there's another brand I used to drink of kombucha. It was the GTS brand. Uh, it's a little, the carbonation is a little bit too strong for me, I think. It, it bothered my tummy a little. I'm really happy, though. So do your research, and this is a fun way to just restore your gut with good uh, bacteria instead of having to take supplements all the time. I usually drink one or two of these bottles per day, one midday, um, possibly mid-morning, but um, definitely one a day. And... Um, Buttermilk. I tried to get um, organic buttermilk, although it does have a different taste, and we use buttermilk for our ranch, homemade ranch salad dressing. And I try to sneak it past my husband, and he does not appreciate it. So we've been getting the regular buttermilk, and um, just a hot little hot tip. I'm probably late to the party on this one. Maybe everybody knows it and I don't. My tummy was bothering me last week. I think I had too much caffeine. My stomach was just in pain. I downed a cup of buttermilk and I was good to go. So, and I have heard that people drink milk if they have a tummy upset, but this really helped my little achy tummy. And also bread. I know it sounds funny. Sometimes I've, I've had too many supplements or I've had too many capsules that I've downed all at once. And my tummy, once in a blue moon, gets a little tummy upset. But if you eat bread and water or bread and milk, it takes away the pain. It's like a quick relief. So if that ever happens to you. But I love having this buttermilk. I've been enjoying buttermilk lately. Um, scallions and uh, I think this organic scallions were about a dollar. Um, and I know you see I would get a bunch of junk food while at the same time I'm trying to eat healthy and it's just just always a catch-22 but I think if we can focus on organic fruits and vegetables, we're doing a, a good service to ourselves. I, I think there's so much spray in our fruits and vegetables that by going organic, you, you're doing really well, even if you're doing bad in all the other areas. So... Very rarely will I get a non-organic fresh fruit or fresh fresh veggie anymore. Uh, that kind of bothers me. So I just wanted to mention that for those of you thinking that I, what am I talking about? Because you hear me wanting to be healthy, wanting to eat organic. You see me with all these supplements, and it's just hard. So, and if any of you are trying to go non-organic, if you just focus on fruits and veggies, that's a and um, 
this huge thing of spinach and, and I want to direct your attention to and I've talked about this before and my personal experience with eat right for your blood type um, theory I'm telling you it's right on for me and a lot of the times I just get mixed salad greens mixed salad greens but spinach is what is my like over the top perfect food for me the eat right for your blood type book talks about what are the po poison foods that blood types people with a certain blood type should never eat and um, foods for your blood type that are over the top like your power food and wheat is like a poison for me and all, bigger than beans on the days I eat crackers, cookies, and peanuts, popcorn, and cracker jack, anything with um, wheat in it, I'm, I'm in such pain. Also with gluten, I'm not supposed to eat gluten. But on days when I remember to not eat gluten, not eat wheat, to eat spinach, salads instead of all the other lettuce. The other lettuce was okay for my blood type, but spinach is like the power food. And you just have to make the effort. Oh, and um, I wanted to mention bread. They say the only bread I'm really supposed to eat is Ezekiel bread. And it's true. When I eat like tortillas, like tortillas or French bread or anything, a hamburger and all, that. any any kind of bread, I just feel awful. But when I have Ezekiel, it's like it doesn't phase me. It just keeps me um, feeling okay. Um, but a lot of people years ago when it came out really didn't think too much about it. So I wanted to mention it. And, like I said, it's spot on true for me, also for one of my daughters. She's a carb person, I think it's a blood A type, I'm not sure. And I was trying to feed her stuff for my blood type. I said, just in case you're a type O, you need protein, you need protein, protein, protein. And she was just sick. She couldn't handle the protein. <laughs> and sure enough. Her body, when she eats carbs, she's at the top of her game. And to try to give her protein for breakfast, she's <laughs> just sick. This was back when she was in high school and we did this. And uh, so I need to keep reminding myself there were certain power foods for my blood type. I want to feel good mentally and physically. And um, if I just have the right, the right foods for my blood type, it helps make it just a little bit easier. So um, that was my little um, sprouts shopping haul that I turned into a 15-minute extravaganza. But I want, I wanted to point out just some things that are beneficial to me. Wanted to share it with you um, about. The Instacart, how you can check which store is selling the best price on what item you want. That is awesome. And they're not everywhere, but I hope it, if it's something you want, I hope it comes to your your, your area soon. Um, they do have Sam's Club on our Instacart, and uh, we're not members. We are Costco members. They have Costco. I would love for them to have Oh my goodness, I would have a heyday. I'd have the best night. Um, also, Sprouts. Sprouts is growing from state to state. It's like a local local farmers and healthy organic foods. They come together and you get good prices. So you might want to check out Sprouts. It's kind of like a, a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's. But it's local farmers in your area that uh, bring you food for a, a cheaper, better price. Anyways, hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching and thank you for those of you